can you do this hard angle question from GCSE maths? The question is, is this shape a trapezium? It looks like it might be because I've drawn it a bit like that, but that's not good enough. We need to show whether it is or isn't. You get the first mark by adding up all the angles and setting them equal to 360. That's because angles in a quadrilateral always add up to 360. You get the next mark for keeping all the x's on one side and moving all the numbers to the other side. The plus 15 becomes a minus 15, the minus 3 becomes a plus 3. You can now solve this equation by collecting the x terms to get 13x and sorting out the number on the right to get 325. You could use your calculator here. To solve this equation, divide both sides by 13 to get x is 325 over 13, which you can work out as 25. That gives you the next mark. Knowing that x is 25, you can substitute that back into each of these angles and simplify it to get 65 degrees, 115 degrees, 108 degrees, and 72 degrees. I'm going to remind you of a rule with parallel lines that co-interior angles or allied angles add up to 180 degrees. These two angles add up to 180 degrees, so they must be co-interior, which must make these two sides parallel, which must make the whole shape a trapezium. This gives us our last mark, which is a conclusion mark. A plus B is 180, A and B are co-interior, therefore BC is parallel to AD, so ABCD is a trapezium. Comment below if you understood the whole solution from start to finish.